Hello and welcome to Summer in Queenstown. I'm Linda McIntosh, the Destination Queenstown Trade Marketing Manager. Kia ora. I'm Alex Holmes, the Business Development Executive. We work with you, the travel trade, to ensure you have all the tools and training to build Queenstown into your clients' itineraries. If you've watched one of our previous on-demand trainings, you know that we will get you out on location and show you the best of what's offer in Queenstown during the summer season. If you haven't joined us before, it's great to have you with us. Summer has arrived here in Queenstown and in this update we've got golfing, biking and mountain biking and a special feature of some great water and lake experiences. This will help you build your clients itinerary so that they can have an unforgettable holiday. We'll also provide a short product update so make sure you tune in right to the very end. So what makes Queenstown the place to visit this summer? The home of adventure is located on the shores of Lake Wakatipu and set amongst the Southern Alps at 45 degrees latitude, which means that summer here brings long summer days with dawn as early as 5am and the dusk setting at around 10pm at night. These longer days and evenings are perfect for getting outdoors and enjoying the diversity of experience that the region is world famous for. You can spend the day golfing, biking, hiking, or out on the water, and even return from an overnight trip to Fiordland and still have time for food, drink, and socialising during daylight in the town centre. Summer in Queenstown is peak season, and the energy of the town is contagious. Although summer makes for hot days, in this part of the world your clients will still want to pack some warmer layers for those early mornings and evenings, alongside their cooler summer clothes for those hot summer days. The long days and access to a full day of adventure makes Queenstown a great place to visit in the summer. Follow us and let's go check out what's happening. As we mentioned in our spring training, Queenstown is home to seven spectacular golf courses, including three of New Zealand's most highly regarded fairways, Jack's Point, The Hills and Millbrook Resort. These award-winning marquee courses are on the must-play list of keen golfers globally. Unsurprisingly, Queenstown is a hive of golfing activity come summer, with six courses within 20 minutes drive of Queenstown. We are home to the New Zealand Open, but we also offer golf experiences for players of all abilities. Queenstown's summer temperatures and long days provide the ideal setting for your client to perfect their swing and explore the unique courses and terrain. There are a range of experienced local golf operators who can provide services for your clients, from packages, tours, transport and quality facilities. If your client is coming with non-golfing friends and family, Queenstown the home of adventure has something for everyone, with our world famous activities and attractions that are on offer. Off the green, your clients can enjoy some quality food and drink with our celebrated local food scene, award winning Central Otago wine and quality accommodation. So let's go and check out Alex who's going to show you some of the courses and local operators. Firstly, we have Jack's Point, which is an 18-hole par 72 championship course with a backdrop of 2,300 vertical metres of the Remarkables mountain range. Queenstown Golf Club, it's internationally renowned as the most scenic golf course in New Zealand. It offers the best golfing conditions year-round, making it a great summer option for your clients. The closest course to town, the Franklin Golf Centre provides a driving range and a nine hole golf course which is perfect for your clients who are short on time or for those for beginners. It's the ideal course for a casual game of golf or for an activity to fill in your day. The Arrowtown Golf Club provides a challenging 18 hole course set within close proximity to the historic Arrowtown village. Not only does it provide a spectacular backdrop for your clients, but it also provides great access to Atbray Golf with great options for wining and dining in the village. Across over 500 acres in Arrowtown, the Hills Golf Club provides 360 degree views of mountain scenery. While this is primarily a private club, the Hills accepts a limited number of visitor bookings daily, so it could be a great option for your clients. If you're after something quite unique and exclusive, this could be a great experience for you and your clients. Over the top golf may well be the most picturesque golf hole for your client to enjoy, situated at 4,500 feet overlooking Queenstown. 
This Par 3 Golf Experience is accessed by helicopter and is a fantastic fly, drive, putt experience for your client. Lastly, we have Millbrook Resort. Home to the New Zealand Open, this is one of the most scenic golf courses in the world. This is an unforgettable golfing experience for your clients and one not to be missed for the avid golfer. This 36 hole championship course is located only 15 minutes from Queenstown and a couple minutes from Arrowtown, making it an accessible option. Let's go learn more about Melbourne. We're here at Millbrook Resort, which is one of the championship golf courses that we mentioned earlier. Situated only 15 minutes from Queenstown, between historic Arrowtown and Lake Hayes, these Alpine Link courses offer an unrivalled golfing and holiday experience for your clients. Let's go chat with Brian. Thank you for joining us, Brian. We appreciate you having us here at Millbrook. Pleasure. Can you tell us a little bit more about Millbrook and its history? Sure. So. Millbrook is located uh, just outside uh, Queenstown, on the outskirts of Arrowtown. Um, we're set on 650 acres of, uh, of land. Um, Millbrook was originally a, a working farm, and a lot of the, the buildings at Millbrook have now been converted into to some of our venues and outlets. The, the reception was the, the original homestead. Um, the, uh, the Hole in One uh, Cafe and All Day Bar um, was originally um, a, a wool shed, and um, I think that's what gives Millbrook a lot of its character and its charm is that we've still retained a lot of the, the old buildings. Awesome, that's amazing, really interesting. Millbrook offers two 18 hole golf courses. Can you tell us a bit more about both of those? Sure, sure. So, um, Millbrook has just gone to, to 36 holes. This, um, this is the, the new nine of the Cornet 18, so this is the latest addition to, uh, to the Millbrook golfing experience. Um, so we have two courses, the Remarkables 18 and the Cornet 18. Um, both courses are designed by uh, New Zealand golfing icons. The, the Remarkables course, which was our original 18, uh, was designed by Sir Bob Charles and uh, the Cornet 18 is uh, a Greg Turner and Scott McPherson design. Um, both courses are um, the home of the New Zealand Open um, and both courses will be used for the 2022 uh, New Zealand Open which is coming up at the at the end of April next year. Um, and uh, and look, they, they both they, they offer a different golfing experience. Um, Perhaps the, the coronet is uh, slightly more for the, uh, for the experienced golfer, but, uh, but nonetheless, um, you'll, you'll see both courses really have uh, stunning scenery and stunning vistas. Amazing, that's fantastic. So Brian, what accommodation options and facilities are available for trade selling to their clients? Sure, so, um, so Millbrook has a, a range of accommodation um, options available. Um, our leading room type is the Deluxe Studios, mm -hmm. uh, very spacious rooms, they're they are 50 square metres. Um, so we have 51 Deluxe Studios. Um, we also have um, the option of one and two bedroom uh, villas, villa suites. Um, so we have 72 one bedroom and 11 two bedroom suites. And then we have um, just under 40 two, three and four bedroom homes, which are uh, located around the resort, quite close to the village centre. Uh, Millbrook was also uh, recently um, the Oceana's leading hotel at the 2021 uh, World Travel Awards. Yeah, nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Typically, what sort of clients come here to Millbrook? Yeah, look, there are um, different type of clientele. We have um, FIT clients, um, which is made up of um, couples, but families, um, those that are coming for, for golf, but for other experiences around Millbrook as well. Um, but we also have uh, uh, group clients that come in, whether they are uh, leisure groups, uh, corporate groups, or, or weddings. So a real mixed bag of clients that, that come to Millbrook throughout the year. Yeah, great. That's what you want, isn't it? Absolutely.
<laughs> you have a lot of facilities and experiences here. Can you tell us what's on offer? Yeah, no, good point, Alex. We're, we are more than just uh, a golf resort at Millbrook. Um, so uh, in addition to the, the hotel, we are a 175-key um, uh, boutique hotel. Uh, but we have an award-winning day spa. We have uh, health and fitness facilities with um, lap pool, gym and spa pools. Um, but there are a range of other uh, experiences and activities as well. We've got four restaurants, conferencing facilities. Um, we've got a, a very unique uh, Millbrook kitchen garden, which supplies um, some of our restaurants. And we do mm -hmm. uh, tours for the, um, for the, the kitchen garden. Um, and of course, being set on 650 acres, we've got uh, mountain biking and different trails that, uh, that our guests can enjoy. Amazing. That's exactly what you want, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Brian. Next, we're going to go chat to Tim from Remarkable Golf Tours to learn a little bit more about transfers on offer here. Kia we're here at Jack's Point, where we're going to chat with Tim from Remarkable Golf Tours. Let's go see what he's up to and have a chat. Tim, could you tell us a little bit more about the offering you have here at Remarkable Golf Tours? Sure. Well, we're a, a group packages uh, specialist, so we provide holiday packages and transportation and golf and activity packages for golfers coming into Queenstown. Um, we offer those as a self-drive option and also where we do the transport for groups and maybe organise wine tours and activities, things like that. You, you have quite a luxurious fleet. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah. Um, look, we generally move our groups around in Mercedes minivans and minibuses. Um, I think when people are on holiday they like to be comfy and, and we recognise that. So we offer those as both a, uh, a chauffeured option but also self-drive SUVs, luxury SUVs like uh, Range Rovers and Audis um, for those who are wanting to travel under their own steam. You offer golf transfers for your clients. Can you tell us more about your golf transfers and experiences on offer? Well, what goes on tour stays on tour. So uh, we can't say too much, but look, we like, to, um, we like to keep things simple and a number of groups have their own dynamic. They might've been traveling together for a number of years before um, and we don't like to um, disrupt that too much, but we just like to provide simple things and uh, keep the service good. Um, we'll be doing things like chasing up lost golf bags or cell phones um, and just doing those little things that make the difference uh, to a golf package at the end of the week. So next up, Tim, uh, what course is your favourite? Well, I may be a little bit biased um, because I was on the construction team here at Jack's Point um, back in 2005 and six. But I think uh, the elements here, the, um, the scenery, the style of the course, um, it's pretty special. It's been rated number two in New Zealand um, pretty recently. Um, but all the courses in Queenstown offer something quite different. Millbrook's got a really nice resorty feel. The hills is sort of redefined, the luxury golfing in New Zealand things. So I think the strength of Queenstown is that all the courses offer something different and uh, different strokes for different folks. Um, some enjoy Jack's, um, some enjoy Millbrook, but I think the, the overall golf offering here is, is pretty amazing and um, all of the courses here are special. 
So Tim, what makes Remarkable Golf Tours different? Well, we're a destinational specialist. Uh, a lot of golf tour operators um, sell a bunch of different destinations, whereas with Remarkable Golf Tours, we are primarily Queenstown. So we, we specialise in this area and we know what, what works for groups. Um, but we also offer FIT day packages for groups who may have time for one or two courses only and we pick them up and do a hotel pick and drop off service and club rentals as well. So we're kind of that one stop shop for golf travel I guess. Is there anything further you'd like to share with the travel trade? Well we're just excited really, um, you know it's been a funny couple of years but we've got some great new product on offer. Um, Millbrook Resort has just opened a new 18 holes which is going to be world class. And um, you know, with the amazing courses and the amazing wineries and activities and attractions that Queenstown's got, we're just really excited to have people back here. It's been a little quiet for the last couple of years, but um, we're, just, we're just really keen to get people back here and show them how amazing this, this whole region is. Like spring, summer is a great time to get out and bike and explore the region. With the days being long, there is plenty of opportunity in summer to make the most of all the biking on offer here in Queenstown, the home of adventure. There are cruisy lakeside trails, downhill tracks and biking experiences for everyone, whatever your age, ability or biking style. There are over 130 kilometres of Queenstown trail to explore, with plenty of short, scenic rides to multi-day longer rides on offer. This includes five of New Zealand's great rides and some great mountain biking. For mountain biking lovers, there are three lift-assisted bike parks, Coronet Peak, which is behind me, Cadrona over the hill, and Skyline in town. These bike parks offer world famous trails. We also have some other bike parks close to town and the most legendary dirt bike park on the planet. There are a range of trails suited to all abilities, which is perfect for beginners and those clients wanting to develop their skills and experience riders. You can hire all the gear you need right here in Queenstown with expert bike hire crews, bike shops and all trail transport aplenty. We're here up Coronet Peak and we're going to showcase some of the great mountain biking on offer for you and your clients when coming to Queenstown on holiday. Follow me and I can show you what's on offer here at one of our lift assisted bike parks. Located 20 minutes from Queenstown, Coronet Peak is one of the three lift assisted bike parks here in Queenstown. It's open Thursday to Monday from December through to the start of April Well, also being opening 7 days a week over that Christmas New Year period as well. You can bring your own biking gear or you can hire some of your own up at Coronet Peak. You can also spend some time in the cafe in the base building and head up to the top for some sightseeing, mountain biking, hiking and disc golf. Once you've fueled up at the caf, you head onto the Coronet Express Peak Gondola, enjoy all the mountain biking, hiking, sightseeing and the disc golf that's available. On top of this you can check out some new trails and just enjoy the amazing views over the Wakatipu Basin. With a range of pass options and facilities, Coronet Peak is a great option for your clients. There's also a whole lot of events to enjoy over summer up here so make sure you come and check them out if you can. When you've done riding and golfing for the day, Queenstown's epic at Pro scene is full of bike and golfer friendly options for cold local brews or tasty eats on a summer evening. The warm and long summer days and fresh alpine air means that you can enjoy food, drink and socialising after a big day in the home of adventure. With summer being peak season, the downtown area is full of energy with a mix of people from all around the world. Whether you want to head to a local cafe, bar or craft brewery after a day riding, golfing or hiking, or you want to dine around Queenstown, there is something on offer for you and your clients. You could be soaking up Queenstown's vibrant buzz in the mall, enjoying the hive of lakefront activity from the many alfresco bars and cafes on historic steamers wharf and a long marine parade, or you could be further afield, spending the evenings in historic Arrowtown after a day on the green, 
or at Gibston Valley after a day exploring the Valley of the Vines. Now let's head on over to Lake Wakatipu and check out what is on offer on the water. We're here in downtown Queenstown where we're going to explore some of the water and adventure activities on offer here over the summer months. Surrounded by lakes, rivers and fjords, Queenstown is an ideal destination for all your favourite water, lake and adventure activities. Your clients can make the most of the sunshine and long days and get out on the water on Lake Wakatipu or one of our nearby rivers. Options include racing along with one of Queenstown's four jet boat operators, sailing above the water while parasailing, kayaking, or taking a leisurely lake cruise on a vintage steamship or luxury yacht. If your client is with their family or they want to relax after a day full of adventure and activities, they can relax on one of the many beaches and go swimming, kayaking or fishing on the lake and surrounding rivers. The ultimate water adventures will take you back to the rivers where you can go canyoning, whitewater rafting, sledging or river surfing. There is a grade of rapids suitable for all of your clients, from beginners to advanced whitewater enthusiasts. You can even explore the deep canyons around the region on a canyoning adventure. On that note, Jules from Canyoning New Zealand is going to give us an overview of this activity in Queenstown. Hi everyone, I'm Jules from Canyoning New Zealand. We're a family owned and operated company offering canyoning services and guided tours to people from all over the world. Located right here in Queenstown and Wanaka, we offer the opportunity for you to get active, get amongst nature while you abseil, swim, slide and climb your way through some awesome New Zealand scenery. No experience required, we'll show you everything you need to know on the day. With us, your clients are privileged to the most qualified and experienced canyoning guides, exclusive locations, and the best canyoning specific equipment possible. Our tours are unique, authentic, and guaranteed to deliver an unforgettable experience. We can't wait to welcome you. If being in the water isn't your client's preference, then looking down at it might be. From bungee jumping to skydiving, jet boating or canyon swinging, there is an iconic adventure experience for everyone. Let's go and hear from Salmon who's going to give you a rundown of the Shotover Canyon Swing, which is located above the stunning Shotover River. Hi, I'm Salmon and I'm here to introduce you to Shotover Canyon Swing. Opened in 2002, Canyon Swing is the original and most unique swing in Queenstown, if not the world. So based only 15 minutes from Queenstown Town Centre and in the stunning Shotover Canyon, you start 109 metres high above the river before choosing to be released or jump yourself and fall past the cliff face for about 60 metres, which is around three seconds. Once the ropes take hold, you'll smoothly do a couple of big swings and then we'll return you safely to the top platform. Sounds awesome, right? So what makes this different from bungee jumps and other swings in New Zealand? With bungee jumps, you're bound at the feet and you have to jump yourself. Other swings, you'll sit down, push a button, you get released, that's it. With ours, you can be released and you can jump yourself. And we have heaps of different ways to jump off. So more about our jump styles. You can just hang out on the edge and we can release you, or you can choose to jump heaps of different ways. You can go forwards, backwards, you can do handstands, you could go off on a slide, in a bin, or, or in the chair like this. <laughs> we also have heaps of tandem options, so your guys can come out do it with their friend if they need a bit of help. You can then choose to jump again for only $30 at certain times in the year. It's great to experience it in loads of different ways, so well worth doing a couple of goes. So something else that makes us different is our amazing staff. Uh, they're trained to the highest safety standards, and if you find yourself really scared, they're there to help you off the edge. 
If you're feeling pretty brave, they're there to take your jump to the next level. Other good things to know is that we're actually all weather. So all summer, sunshine, rain, snow, we go every day. Uh, we also work closely with making tracks and we try and get all abilities to be able to come out and enjoy the canyon sweep. So how to book us? If you're within New Zealand, you can get in touch with our reservations team who will be able to book you up. If you are from overseas, we have many inbound tourism operators who are trained in our experience and who will be able to give you a hand. Uh, if you want to learn more about us, please do get in touch and we can provide training services. Uh, if you're in Queenstown and want to come and try the Canyon Swing yourself, please do get in touch as we'd love you to try it out. We hope to see you in Queenstown and with the Shot Over Canyon Swing soon. So with those longer days, there is plenty of daylight hours to make the most of your time out on the water. Real NZ has a range of water experiences on offer, from whitewater rafting down the Shotover River to jet boating on the Kaurau, lake cruises on the TSS Ernstor, as you can see here behind me, transfers, cruising and kayaking in the iconic Milford and Doubtful Sounds, and also discovery expeditions in Dusky Sound. Real NZ has something for your clients. So let's go and chat with Martin from Real NZ. He's going to tell us a little bit more about their product and what they offer here in Queenstown. So Martin, thanks for joining us. I think as a way to launch into us interviewing you today, if you could just elaborate a little bit more about what Real NZ is to the travel trade. Yeah, for sure. So um, a lot of our trade will be not familiar with Real NZ. That's part of the reason of being here today, but we'll be uh, very familiar with our experiences and maybe some of our older brands. So Real NZ is the new collective uh, name and brand for um, a bunch of very, very memorable um, brands that are certainly well known in the trade, including Real Journeys, Go Orange, the International Antarctic Centre, yeah. uh, Cadrona Alpine Resort and, and Treble Cone, along with Wayfair. So uh, Real NZ is our new brand. It's about um, doing business for good and really having conservation at the core of everything that we do going forward. So what experiences do Real NZ offer in the region? Yeah, um, so we're pretty blessed. We've got some amazing concessions and consents to operate in some, some, in some uh, fantastic places. Right here in Queenstown, we've got the Lady of the Lake mm -hmm. behind us here, the TSS Earns Law. And uh, here in Queenstown, we um, cruise across to Walter Peak, which is a high country farm. And we offer some uh, beautiful gourmet barbecue dinners and lunches across there as well as some farm tours and also you can just take a leisurely cruise to enjoy Lake Wakatipu in the surrounding area. Yeah, lovely. Um, and then a little bit further away up in Christchurch we have the International Antarctic Centre. Um, uh, just over the hill, as, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have Cadrono and Treblecone ski fields. So um, fantastic ski fields come winter, but come summer they become a bit of an alpine playground for mountain bikers and downhill karting. Um, and then just over the hill in the other direction, uh, we've got Fiordland National Park, which we're really lucky to uh, operate some day and overnight cruising in Fiordland. Um, uh, as well as kayaking uh, in uh, various sounds, uh, the Tiano Glowworm Caves, um, and then we provide access to uh, the world famous Milford Track as well. Amazing. So, Madden, you've touched on the conservation efforts within Real NZ. Could you elaborate a little bit further about this? Yeah, for sure. So, um, Real NZ, or um, our original brand name, was founded by Les and Olive Hutchins back in 1954. And uh, conservation has always been at the forefront of, uh, of what we do and how we operate. And now it's about, as mentioned, it's about business for good. And it's about being a um, essentially a conservation business that's enabled by tourism. So some of our big conservation projects include um, across the lake here at Walter Peak is the Walter Peak Land Restoration Project where we've removed uh, 16,000 wild and pine trees wow. and now planted 18,000 native trees. Amazing. That's a generational project where we hope to hear the bird song back yeah. of our native birds in, in years to come. Um, other big ones include Cooper Island down in Dusky Sound. That's where um, this beautiful island that we're making predator free and then we'll reintroduce with uh, Department of Conservation, Kakapo and Kiwi back onto yeah, the island. And then also lots of fundraising and initiatives. Uh, including the Birds of a Feather Ball um, and um, yeah, some certain kind of like wildlife cruises that we do that which raise funds for kind of conservation efforts. Yeah, incredible, amazing. 
Can you tell us a little bit more about the white water rafting experience as a summer activity and what it is that makes that so special? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so we're pretty blessed to have great uh, two great rafting products here in town. Um, so we've got a firstly a really unique product called the Jet to Raft and that's where you depart here where people are about to head out actually and they're going to jet boat across the lake downstream to the bottom of the Kara River. They're going to unload there and then carry on down the river um, over some grade three, four rapids pulling out at Gibston Valley. So that's a great half day product, kind of grade three, four rapids. Alternatively, for those feeling a bit more adventurous, then um, up in the Skipper's Canyon, we have the shot over river rafting. So that's grade four, five. Again, a half day rafting trip, beautiful scenic, kind of hairy mm. drive into the <laughs> Skipper's Canyon. And then um, rafting downstream over some really, really big uh, grade four, five rapids, culminating with um, an amazing uh, uh, a trip through the Oxenbridge Tunnel okay. where we've got an a amazing rapid at the end of it as well. Great summer experience. And also do you provide transfers return for your Queenstown products and those that are further afield? Yeah, so a lot of our experiences kind of start here. So for instance, jet boating is right here from downtown Queenstown. Um, we offer transport for our rafting experiences out to our rafting base. But a lot of our fjordland experiences have, mm. um, have departures here in Queenstown. So our day and overnight cruising in fjordland, we offer return transport for those. Um, or to be honest, the ultimate way to see Milford Sound is to go by coach from here into Milford and then do a beautiful scenic Isn't flight back. Nice. So Martin, could you explain for the travel trade a little bit of the difference between uh, like a day cruise in Milford Sound versus the overnight experience? Yeah, for sure. So um, day cruising is about two hours in duration. As mentioned, we have coach connections here from Queenstown or you can fly in or self-drive in. Um, and that's where we've got a great food offering on board and you're gonna get to see the whole of Milford Sound, see the wildlife uh, nature guide on board. But the overnight experience is essentially just way more relaxing, plenty of time to enjoy the scenery. Um, uh, all meals are included, so a beautiful three course evening meal, a continental and cooked breakfast in the morning, uh, private cabins as well with en suites. And it's just a way to enjoy Milford Sound once all the day visitors have departed. Yeah, beautiful, really nice and immersive, I like that. Yeah, definitely. So last question. Do you have any key insights or tips for the travel trade that you'd like to share? Yeah, I guess um, two key kind of insights really is that um, a lot of our products and experiences are really enjoyed by locals. Leanne's lawyer heading over to Walter Peak for a gourmet barbecue lunch or dinner is a, certainly a firm favourite with locals. Our day and overnight cruising in Fjordland, particularly in Doubtful Sound, our overnight cruising there is really, really popular with the locals. So essentially, I think it's good for our visitors coming into town to go where the kind of locals go. And then um, really for the travel trade is um, a lot of our experiences have capacity restrictions. You know, we're, we're governed maybe by our concession with the Department of Conservation or how many people can board a vessel. Um, so you've got to book early, even in a domestic only environment. Um, if you don't book early, you, there's a good chance you, the, the guests are going to miss, miss out. out. Right, so you can't have that. So no. booking early. Absolutely, definitely. <laughs> nice. So lastly, we have our event and new product update. So let's go and take a look about what's happening here in Queenstown this summer. So first up, we have our summer events. You and your clients will be a good company on your summer holiday. Queensland has a lot of events on offer over the warmer months. This summer, this includes a Crankwork Summer Series, a multi-stop mountain biking festival throughout the region. There's the remarkable and our home markets every weekend, and the Mac Pack Motor Tarp off-road multi-sport event which includes mountain biking and trail running which is held in March. This summer we also have the Queenstown Marathon, the Gibson Valley Summer Concert and the New Zealand Golf Open all rescheduled to take place in March and April from the previous dates. Next we have the new products update. This is going to run through activities, accommodation and eateries as well as provide some extra information on some resources for you. Activities in Queenstown. So we've recently had the new Upper Village development, which includes the Kingpin offering. This is recently opening 
in Queenstown, right beside iFly and below the Skyline Gondola. You can have the time of your life with temp and bowling, arcade, virtual reality games, escape rooms, and private karaoke rooms. This is the perfect experience for you and your clients, especially when it's not the best weather outside. Next up, we have Altitude Tours Queenstown Gin Tour. This is New Zealand's first gin tour and is a six hour experience departing daily at 1 p.m. It includes transport for three tastings, which include the visit at Cadrona Distillery, the winery in Arrowtown, and a gin garden by Broken Heart Spirits up at Arthur's Point near Coronet Peak. They're also introducing the Halley Gin Tour. So, on top of what I just mentioned, this six hour experience is daily from 1 p.m but it has a minimum number required of four people. Not only does it include all what we said before, but it also has a 15 minute scenic flight in the Cadrona Valley with a landing up at Mount Sale where you enjoy your first gin of the day. Yeah, Milford has recently introduced a new ride from the Sky offering. This includes a scenic flight over Queenstown, Lake Wakatipu and the surrounding mountains and a 32 kilometer trail traversing the rolling hills and shores of Lake Wakatipu past Mount Nicholas Station to the Walter Big Homestead. A great opportunity to get out on the bike, especially if you want to go hire an e-bike. Here you'll enjoy a delicious gourmet barbecue meal at the homestead with a return over the lake back to Queenstown on the historic Tears and Spoons floor. Lenorca Air is now offering a Milford Sound ultimate overnight experience where guests get to explore all that Milford Sound has to offer. The ultimate overnight experience includes an unforgettable journey into the heart of Melbourne Sound by coach. The crews aboard a spacious modern catamaran, an overnight stay at Milford Sound Lodge, and this finishes as well with a beautiful scenic return flight to Queenstown. Next up, we have some new accommodation opening in Queenstown, which you might have read about in our updates. Firstly, the brand new Crest Service Departments, which is Apartment style hotel rooms offering a guest a relaxed and comfortable accommodation experience, perfect for short or long stays. It's very close to Queenstown International Airport, a short drive in the central Queenstown, and everything that the town has to offer. There's 41 rooms, including studios, one and two bedroom apartments. With the studio apartments, a great alternative to a hotel room with a fully equipped kitchenette. The Holiday Inn. Queenstown Remarkables Park is a new hub for South Island exploration with a convenient location in the Remarkables Park precinct. This four-star full-service hotel is open now and has a range of modern facilities to make you stay extra comfortable while you create memories in the heart of New Zealand's world-famous Alpine Playground. Views of the Remarkables and nearby mountain peaks set the scene for this restaurant, cafe and bar, all available within their open lobby area. Designed so you can relax and get at home in comfy and convenient modern surroundings. The Sedema Hotel, which is at Queenstown's Five Mile, is a new four and a half star hotel in the bustling Frankton area, conveniently located in the retail precinct close to the airport. With views of the surrounding landscapes, high quality, fist out, well appointed rooms, restaurant, bar, bar, also includes bike and ski storage and free parking. It's a great option for both leisure and business travellers and is also open now. Next, we have the Carlin Boutique Hotel. Relax in a six star lux luxury. Enjoy world class amenities and personalised service provided by an experienced team of hotel ambassadors, concierge, butlers, massage therapists, and chefs. It's for those travellers attracted to a one-of-a-kind local boutique hotel experience, offering a range of spacious suites in one, two, and three bedroom configurations with 50 to 288 square metres indoor and outdoor living space. This hotel includes outdoor terraces with private spas, gas fires, and exceptional lake and mountain views right in town. This is expected to open in February 2022. Finally, for this, we have our eateries that have recently opened. As we mentioned earlier, there's a new Upper, upper Village precinct up by Skyline. The Bavarian brings a German-inspired dining experience to Queenstown with over 300 seats available for those travellers. 
The Bavarian offers great food, German beers, and great fun for the whole family. Also in the upper village is El Camino, which is located also on Brecon Street next to the Skyline Gondola. El Camino Cantina is a large and loud Tex-Mex bar filled with classic and frozen margaritas, delicious Tex-Mex feasts, and great music. You can easily enjoy some time at the upper village with Kingpin and Skyline and iFly, and then enjoy some time at El Camino with the Bavarian afterwards. Next up, we have Yaya's, which has recently opened on Queenstown's Beach Street. Yaya means grandmother in Greek, the matriarch who brings the family together for comfort, food, beef, and traditional recipes passed down through generations. This exciting new venue is the southernmost Greek restaurant in the world. It's a great spot for you and your clients to enjoy. It's open every day from 12 p.m. Well, on topic of new things in Queensland, we've recently released the upcoming major developments document. This will provide you with some great insight and training of the new major developments happening here in Queensland. This includes the upper village that we mentioned earlier, Skyline, Gondola and Top Station Redevelopment, Frankton Marina, O'Connell's Mill, Ski Field Expansion and Gibson Valley Resort, as well as a whole lot of enhancement around the streets of Queenstown, which you'll notice when we reopen in 2022. For more information, you can head to our website to find out more about this. For further resources, you can check out our website, queenstownnz.nz, and our trade pages, slash trade. If you need any suggestions for product operators for selling to your clients, please contact either Linda or myself, and we can share the appropriate sales and marketing contacts for you. As you can see here, we've given you some insight into what we can offer. You can also join our Queenstown Travel Sellers Facebook group and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can receive regular updates on Queenstown. If you haven't already, check out our website and follow and link up to our newsletter as well. And if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with us. So thanks for joining us. And please note that if you've got any further questions that you can reach out to Alex or myself at any time. Also just to note that on our website, there's some great additional training resources for you. There's PowerPoint presentations with train the trainer notes, including the latest news and events that are happening right here in Queenstown. And if you haven't already, do make sure that you jump on into our closed Facebook group for travel sellers and also subscribe to our new YouTube channel. We hope you enjoy learning about summer in the home of adventure. We'll be back in your inbox come autumn. Have a great holiday season and we'll see you next time.